I've seen a lot of comments lately yeah. that have been telling me, Corbin, respect your elders. <laughs> I've seen that too. What do you mean by that, folks? They mean you're old and also... <laughs> <laughs> Back to our stupid reacts as idiots. I'm Corbin, and I'm an old geezer who's disrespected by youngins. That's true, and I disrespect him all the time. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more oh, juicy content. So juicy. You do know he's not my teacher anymore, right? Yep. Like that was like over ten years ago. No, but they do get blown away by the fact they wish they had like a relationship. It's like if I ever did that to one of my teachers. <laughs> well, I'm special, and uh, I did have. I got. I will. I'm really happy with. Like me and Najeka and a couple other people have really awesome relationships with our students. Sure. Yeah. And uh, thank you for supporting our Patreon and follow us on yes. our Twitter account. Thank you. Uh, but today, <laughs> you just took me back to the movie Us. Oh yeah. <laughs> we are reacting to something good, something fresh. Bring it on, Gordon Miles. A dance. Classical Indian dance. Really? I've been wanting to for a while. Yay! Uh, and because obviously we we do really enjoy what classical Indian instruments. Yes. And, uh, and we're still going to do that. Trust me. Uh, and singing, but we haven't done classical Indian. What uh, kind of dance? Odissi dance. It is called. I don't want to butcher it. So it's Shiva Shamblo, most watched. Oh my! I I hope I get this remotely close. Yes. Dance. It's called the Best of Classic Indian Dance. Uh, and uh, it's been highly requested um, for a while, which is probably why it's the first one. Um, but I'm uh, quite excited because I know this, they're going to be barefoot. Yes. Here we go! <clears throat> Team, 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 team
Performed by Swati Jaisankar, I'm going to mispronounce the names, forgive me, Isha Parupudi and Sofia Salangaros. Music by Parshwanath Upadhi, vocals D. Srikanth. Okay, whew, I can breathe again. Whew. <coughs> First thing that struck me was the costumes. Yeah. Beautiful. Especially when they go into the, the plies and you see the bottom of the, the costume spread like that, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, man, because I, I have no idea what most, I mean, I can appreciate a good dance, of course, but uh, Indian dance is such a different monster. Yes, and uh, different, different forms of it yes. are different. Like, um, I, I, there's, there's, I would have to ask, I, there's a, a stupid baby who does this, I'm sure there's lots of stupid babies. Yes, babies. but I know for a fact, and it's not this, I'm, I may be completely wrong as far as what this dance is, but that right there, um, the amount of uh, what that does to the knees <laughs> and the hands in particular, and the symbolism that's going on in the hands and the story that's being told in the hands was actually is alluded to, quite not even alluded to, it's talked to, which you haven't seen, in Life of Pi. Uh, there's stuff that's talking about the shape of the hands and how difficult that dance form is. And that's why I was getting really irritated with the shots that weren't straight on because uh, that choreography is done in such a way as to be seen from the front. And so much of the three-dimensional things that they were doing, you lose if you go off at an angle. And that's why I kept getting frustrated with them going off to the sides. I wanted to stay in the front visual to watch what they were doing in that three-dimensional picture. And it's so exciting. And I want to know the symbolism of the hands and everything, because they're telling a story. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I, mean, I think it's about the god Shiva, I believe it's because it's yeah. called Shiva. Yeah, and it started uh, instantly with Shiva. Shiva sh yes. Sh say it for me. Uh, Shiva sh Shambhu. Shambhu. And the dance, the first comment I looked down at the comments, it said, can you imagine for at least one second how painful it is yes. to dance? Pain the to d d dance which Bye. i i don't know that term i know odyssey and i know that dancers that do that dance form which is comparable to this if this is not a form of that by the time they're 30 why is it so hard? just because of the squat kind and of stuff? constant plie uh constant gotcha. leg bend which is a plie is a constant state of being of bending but it's and it's more than just that it's the constant plie and the constant movement of the legs and the knees and the pounding on the ground with the bare feet mm. uh that you know after 15 years of doing that as you start dancing very very young professionally let's say you're thighs doing it at 15 God. yes very strong thighs and knee problems before they're 30. Uh, and usually have to stop dancing by the time they're 30 for those who've done it professionally mm. and i know this directly from a stupid baby that does that professionally and the, it's the biggest thing they have to face is knee issues and that's with a lot of athletes and performers yep. yeah but this in particular is yeah. and, it, and it it's also deceivingly hard at every other level in terms of cardio in terms of uh, the hands i can't i can't stress enough how much i recognize and know partly because i've seen it before and partly because of this dancer the hands yeah and what they move into so fluidly, like those movements where they're like water. Yeah. But then also some of the finger shapes yeah, and really... the finger shapes are like as exacting as ballet. So, you know, we know about the disciplines of ballet and how ballet teachers are like, no, it has to, the line has to be, it's that way with the hands. Like every little, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. 
Yeah. The difficult level. And I know the, the difficulty level is unbelievable. I know in India culture as well that the, the bells on the ankles is like very symbolic for quite a few things. And I'm sure we're missing a ton of stuff with the makeup um, and, and the costuming that, that's conveying storytelling. I was telling the story of Shiva. Yeah, I know. Because I know they were doing the, the, the god Shiva that has the multiple arms, right? Well, yeah, it wasn't the mother goddess, which is eight. Eight. Um, okay. Yeah, but uh, it it because that's what it made me think of immediately because I've been exposed to that with Kahani and, and yeah. other things. Uh, it made it, it immediately drew me to that. Um, but and that's the other thing I would love to know is what's being told. I would love, and I will probably ask this stupid baby dancer about the story that's being told and what the hands are doing. Yeah, because you could go through and stop it and show what each position is. Uh, Shiva. Shambo means Shiva the auspicious one and acknowledges Shiva as a greater being beyond our dimension. Maha means great. Diva means God. So Shambo again means auspicious one. So the second line, Mediva Shambo means great God, the auspicious one. Mm. Cool. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, Gorgeous. I just got so frustrated with the, the, I would have preferred just a flat stationary shot straight on the whole time. Well, not their fault. Uh, unless they yeah, not the dancers. Unless they edited it. Uh, <laughs> well, and it very I, mean, I could be way off. I mean, they're very well. They may have said, "Well, yeah," but at that moment we made that shot because there wasn't anything germane to the front angle you needed to see. Mm -hmm. I, you know, well, they, let know, us, they know more than I do. Please, 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 let us know other dancers like famous because I know like the famous Indian playback singers. Like we've reacted to a few. Yeah, um, famous. I know there's famous Indian. Not so much, uh, I know, because obviously there's a bunch of songs from Bollywood and Tollywood and stuff like that. Like, if there's just performance dances like this, that even more, because usually those don't get copyrighted as much. Yeah. And so that helps us. Uh, also, um, we get recommendations for those other ones all the time. All the time. So yeah. If there's like these legendary of different types, doesn't have to be this type, because I know there's a thousand different types with like with everything in India. Yeah. Um, there's different types of singing, dancing moving talking yeah and I would like to know that as you say that because what I'm about to reference has nothing to do with classical dance per se but in American cinema as you all know as well as we do for the most part uh, the old classic cinema had some of the greatest dancers in American history uh, the immediately that comes to mind are, the, are Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly mm. uh, but there are also some ladies in there as well who were in, in, incredible dancers and I'd like to know who are some of the dancers in Indian. I mean, we know Rithik, obviously, but is he equated? I think he is because of his fluidity, but I don't know if he's technically like Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire were technically considered some of the greatest dancers of all time, not just in film. I want to know that stuff too. Yeah. You know, like we could show you a clip from singing in the rain. I'd love to see a clip that it's like, okay, here's one of the quintessential moments, the dancing. You know, bunches of that. If, it, even if it's not like a famous dancer, like different cultures dancing. Of yeah. Different of, All of the above. All over India. All over India. You know, we're not just into like the film, but we want to explore all exactly. of Indian culture as possible. Yeah, and um, exactly. It could be from the most remote region, and it's a style of dance that has really never gotten prominence. But if it's from India, we want to see it and know about it. Yeah. So this was beautiful. Yeah, loved it.